Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. And today I wanted to do a little video on how to embed a Matterport virtual tour on your KW agent website. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click over here down on the bottom left on consumer. And unfortunately we're not able yet to do them on a simple landing page. Um, on landing pages there currently is no widget or anything that will allow us to embed the Matterport video embed code. Um, I can do a YouTube video so if it's something I publish on YouTube I could use a link because there's an actual video widget but that video widget currently only accepts YouTube and Vimeo embed URLs. So what we're doing today is actually on the agent site pages. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create a new site on my agent site and then hit create page. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name of virtual tours and now I have the option to drag over one of the widgets in order to do the embed code. Um, the content blocks down here are still a little tricky so I don't recommend trying to use those. Um, we've worked with those a little bit and there's a lot of uh, a lot of frustration there on trying to utilize anything here. So we do recommend we use these pre-built widgets that are already available here. And in this particular case, we want to use the agent profile widget. So I'm going to drag that over. And this agent profile widget really gives us the most flexibility as far as the HTML code or what we're able to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on configure widgets. Click on agent profile. And here's the information. Now, I can change this if I didn't want it to be a picture of myself. I can change this maybe to a picture of the home, uh, something like that. I can have something else. Maybe it's your logo. Uh, you can have whatever you want up here in this little bubble. Uh, just keep in mind it is a circle. So if you're using like a rectangle image, it could crop out some of that. Um, so I'm going to leave it my headshot here just uh, for the sake of this video. And page title. So it has my name here. Of course, I might want to change that to maybe the... Um, I could just say virtual tours if I'm going to do more than one virtual tour. And then role and company, um, if I don't put anything there, it actually leaves this lead listing agent at Royals Realtors. So I, I actually want to change that here. I don't want to keep that there. So um, I'm going to put something like explore your favorite properties. Okay, and then the bio title, it's actually this right here. So we're going to do, again, either virtual tour or take a virtual walkthrough, something like that. Um, and then down here, an agent bio. So by default, it's pulling in my bio that I have in my command settings in my uh, marketing profile. So I'm going to select all that and delete it. So what we want to do here is Matterport, when you have Matterport videos, you're able to uh, retrieve an embed code. So the embed code is actually going to look something like this here. So it starts with this iframe width equals that kind of, this. so this is what you're looking for, this embed code. So I'm going to copy that over. I have one already copied over from another sample. And then I'm going to change the well then I can look down here and it says contact title contact Jeff so this actually makes sense I'm gonna leave this here because obviously if they want to see anything more about the videos or whatever I want to have my contact information down at the bottom so I'm actually good with all of that there I'm gonna click save and apply so what you'll see is on the left hand side is what it's gonna look like virtual tours you explore your favorite properties take a virtual walkthrough now one thing you'll see here is by default the Matterport video is actually bigger than the window here. So when I look in this code, this kind of little advanced tip here, when I look in this code I can see that it has a width of 853 and that, that stands for pixels when it's not defined, that's 853 pixels. So what it's telling us is this command window that we have on our website is less than 853 pixels which is why it's uh, cutting out over the side. So I'm going to actually change that to 100%. Okay, And then I'm going to leave the height at 480 and we're going to see what happens there. So I'm going to click save and apply. So 100% now actually means it's taking 100% of the allowable space. So this also means it should uh, you know on mobile shrink down a little bit if it needs to on mobile. Uh, but this is going to be the most flexible. There, it may still not be perfect. We, we are still working within limitations of what they provide us. 
but this should give us a good, you know, good window here on what we can utilize. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. And yes, I would like to publish this as an agent site. I'll click yes. All right, so now you'll see it here, virtual tours. That's the one I just created, but it's not visible yet. So you can see that here by the, the gray eyeball. So I'm going to go over here to site and app settings. I'm going to click on site pages and I'm going to add that page. We're going to click on virtual tours. Hit continue. And then the page title here, I'm going to say virtual tours. Probably spell that correctly. Okay, and then the URL slug, we don't have any uh, spaces in that, special characters or anything like that. So I'm just going to leave that virtual tours. So you'll see down here, it will show up as your .kw.com slash and then virtual tours. And then here I'll say, take a tour of your favorite homes. The SEO description is what's going to show up in the search engines if someone were to search and your page comes up as one of the options. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Page Changes. And then I'm actually going to I have one other one here that I was doing before as a test. So I'm just going to delete that out. Delete. Okay, so now I have the about, you know, this, this is my navigation on my website. So now when I pull up my website, I can click on virtual tours and there you go. You see our virtual tour walkthrough. So this is, uh, like I said, this is kind of a, a, a hack. It's not exactly available or meant to work a specific way. So uh, this is a way to make this happen. There, there might be, <clears throat> excuse me, a few a minor challenges here and there, but this is gonna be the best way to make that happen. Um, you could also in here put multiple virtual tours. So this particular box that we added that embed code it could take more embed, uh, take more ver uh, embed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on show you a sample of that. So if I go back to my designs agent site and I click on my virtual tours page and I want to add more to that, I'm going to click over here to configure widgets. All right, and then so basically I have this virtual tour, so let's just suggest I have another one. <clears throat> so I can put um, basically a couple spaces and paste in another one. And you'll see it just will do that. So it'll just kind of stack them one on top of another. Uh, technically, I could add more. If you know HTML code and wanted to add a different things in here like you know add the address next to each one in this case the Matterport videos already give us the address and everything so I actually think this is just fine if I had maybe four or five of these in a row I think this works out great uh, for what I'm after here so if you have any other questions hopefully this was a good video for you if you're using those virtual tours it's very popular these days of course especially with all the uh, you know quarantine and everything else that we've been going through so the the digital access to these properties is is huge now so by adding this to your agent website page, we feel this gives a lot of value to your visitors. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email us at team at balanbrands.com or of course you can access Lori's amazing resources at understandcommand.com.